Hey guys, Eilith from Jacobs Studios, back with another parkour tutorial. And today we are going to be learning the Kong and Monkey Bolt. It's a two-in-one tutorial because these bolts are almost identical with just slight differences. So for the most part, learning them is going to be the same, um, except for a couple steps. Okay, so before we learn how to do these vaults, I'm going to go over what the difference between them is. So the only real difference is that with a monkey vault, your hands will be placed on the obstacle either before or around the same time that you are jumping. Whereas with a Kong vault, you will jump and your feet will leave the ground before your hands make contact with the obstacle. So it's essentially that a Kong is a monkey that you dive into. Okay, so before we start, this is kind of a bonus step. Um, if you're not comfortable using an obstacle to practice on at first, you can practice the movement on the ground by doing quadrupedal movement, which is essentially using all four of your limbs, arms and legs, to move like an animal would. The version of quadrupedal movement that you would use to practice a Kong ball looks like this. Okay, so the first step that I'm going to have you practice is putting your hands on the obstacle and bringing your feet up. That's all you have to do. And just keep practicing that until you get the movement down. Side note, I would recommend practicing this move on something smaller than a picnic table like I am because a picnic table is a little bit large for first learning this vault. Um, so it might be a little bit more difficult to get over if you haven't practiced the vault a lot. Okay, so I actually moved to a smaller obstacle to demonstrate better what you guys should be practicing. So after you've practiced the just using your hands to get your feet on the obstacle, that's the basic movement down. So after that, really all you have to do is get comfortable enough that you can carry your legs all the way through your arms to the other side. So one thing you want to be sure of is that when you're doing the vaults, that you get your feet and legs far enough away from the obstacle that they don't clip on the edge and you don't face plant off the other side. And as you can see in these clips here, with the monkey vault, the position of your legs causes your feet to be a lot closer to the obstacle than they are in a Kong vault, which means there is a higher chance to clip your feet on a monkey vault, but it is still the easier vault to do. So to learn the Kong, all you really have to do is take what you've already learned and add a dive to it, which could be kind of scary because you're kind of just throwing your body at the obstacle. What I'd recommend doing to train for the dive is to practice the quadrupedal movement that we talked about earlier maybe, but put more of a dive into it. Or you could practice doing a different vault with a dive like the Kong. Like you could do the dive like you would for the Kong, but then go into a safety vault instead, like this. <laughs> 